Hey everybody, I'm Manny. Welcome back to my channel, SoCal Shave. So we're here, we're back for another shave, and I thought it was pretty fitting to use the soap that you can see in the intro there uh, for today's shave, since I just now got my hair done, got, a, got another haircut, I shortened it down some more, and we used the uh, uh, Purely Skinful that was sent over from Guy Solis. This was a um i think it's a it's a tester she's testing out some stuff if i'm not mistaken and um not only that but this soap was uh requested by my brother marcos jesus mendez so there you are brother let's get into it i will be using dapper man in my skull here today and i did have this uh running under some hot water getting it prepped and ready and uh <clears throat> this is brought to you by i can't i'm looking for this side uh dirty bird pottery uh, there you have it there and uh, this is a fantastic um scuttle really really enjoyed it it's got this a uh, rim here that you it's hard to see but it, it's it's like it looks like this so when you lather that uh, comes up and over and back into the bowl or into the scuttle so there we have it there uh, it is nice and warm and before or excuse me let me continue here uh razor choice will be uh getting into the Micromatic, if I'm mistaken, bullet tip shovel head. This was a razor that was also sent over from Guy Solis. And um, he threw in a gem razor there. And we'll be using the trifecta, the matching aftershave splash, and the matching aftershave balm. And if that blade doesn't work out, we'll throw this one in. And I do have some others here, so. We're going to get a good shave in, hopefully, nonetheless. Um, today's brush would be my my Whip Dog Bore, 30 millimeter, set inside my Grizzly Bay handle. And because of the mount here, I have to go on either side to see if it's in, if it's in, a, if it's in, um, not angle. Um, can't think of the word. <laughs> Just making sure that it's on camera properly. Uh, so there we have it. And uh, I got a little small. Sorry, guys. I actually threw this in here and didn't realize I had the address on there. So yeah, I got a. Um, let me just make sure I cover that up. I wasn't paying attention. Um, I got a package from uh, Chris Bailey, IMCDB. So it is uh, open, like I mentioned. Um, I opened it on the way. And uh, only because there are some items in here that aren't. Um, a shock to anyone in the community. He sent over a, I got three, this is the uh, fourth one now, if I'm mistaken. He sent over a brand new bottle of uh, Pure Gillette uh, shaving cream. And y'all know how much I love this stuff here. Um, and on one of his shaves, we were discussing a blade he was using and it was the uh, Persona um, Super Blade. And these are Med Preps. That's the front of the blade there. Here's the back. So I have not used one of these blades yet. So I'm, I'm looking forward to using that in the future. And then he sent something pretty interesting. Um, I don't know if this is supposed to be MCD, uh, MCDB. Oh, confusing everything here. <laughs> MCD for Mondi Condre. Uh, it's a sample here. Um, and this is supposed to be the Fougere. And, um, It smells amazing. It smells like it smells like um, uh, what I think it could be the Fougere. Um, no, not the Fougere. I can't think of the name of the cologne. Um, I've smelled the cologne in the past. Um, it's on the tip of my tongue. I'll put it down somewhere here. I can't remember it. Uh, but I have smelled the cologne before, so I'm thinking uh, he's he's talking about the Martin. So then something interesting. I don't know how to use this. I've heard about them. I don't know if the whole thing is a soap, um, but he sent over those Cremo lathering travel sheets. I know it don't look like much, but I guess when you put this into a bowl or your hand or whatever you feel uh, like, you know, the purpose of your way of lathering, but this disintegrates, not disintegrates, but it, um, I can't think of, I don't know how to, it, it dissolves, it dissolves and then uh, it turns into a lather. So. The scent is actually pretty, pretty nice. It's a very nice, colony masculine scent. Um, 
either that or this came through the uh, to the wrapper, but it smells pretty good. But that is a little quick mail call. Let me set this aside. I'll be right back. Yeah, so I'm looking. I'm looking forward to trying that out here in the future. So let's go ahead and start uh, our loading, loading the blade here, and um, gonna run it under some water. And uh, let's see how we do. I have not prepped my face, so we'll just go ahead and. Um, Man, I'm out of sorts today, thinking what the hell I gotta say. Um, I wanna say invigorate, but that's not the right word. Um, there you have it. Okay, and that's what it looks like when it comes down. Comes forward. There you go, pretty cool. Um, work the leather on the face, I guess, uh, to hydrate the whiskers. <laughs> It'll come to me in just a minute. Um, okay, and I do have the puck bloom in here. So give me a minute. Let me get this bloom water into the bottom cap here. Let's get to loading. Oh man. Yeah, so I have had a long, long, um, I'm off camera here because I'm sorry, I'm letting all the soap and suds uh, drop into the scuttle here. I've had a long um, week trip, I guess you could say. Um, and I've just been totally exhausted. Um, so glad to finally be back home, having two days to myself, and uh, it's whipping up just nicely. I haven't used uh, Vita soap in a while. Oh, and this is, oh, I'll show you guys here afterward. This is a collaboration soap between um, Vida, um, Vida Perez from Oleo Soapworks and uh, my brother Rafa from Chicano Shaver, also known as now, now known as um, Chicano Designs. All right, so I think that's enough there. Yeah, so I haven't used Vida soap in been a while and um, so happy to reuse her soap again or revisit excuse me and uh, especially it's um, quite fitting I guess you could say to come back at it I guess uh, oleo soap works with a big bang. And the scent out of this puck is phenomenal, man. Oh, goodness. This is a soap scent that's supposed to resemble um, um, Beach Hut. And uh, I'll, if I can remember, I'll post a picture of that up, up on screen. All right. So, took the water out just to keep it keep it warm after, or I warmed it up and then took the water out so I can load here, and then I'll put some warm water after I'm done working my lather. Hopefully, it's coming off on camera because this mount is in the way. I'm just gonna go ahead and just start adding water here using the bloom water that uh, I just poured out. And this uh, brush can hold a lot of water, so it probably already, it's already halfway there. I can see it. I'm 
really, really love this scuttle, man. It's a great one. And this stuff is working a treat. If you guys can see that. I don't, to me, the glare of this uh, this uh, new tripod rig, it's um, glaring everything back. So I, it doesn't come off on camera, but it comes off on the mirror and I can't see a damn thing. So we are, we've got tons of lather so far. Gonna add a little bit more water here. That was a big dunk. All right, I think we're good there. Dapper man with a dapper haircut. Sound quite fitting. Just the hand of the way it's it's held, the way that that grip is in the middle is, and then these little flutes, side flutes, makes a brush just a treat to hold. Doesn't feel like you're gonna drop it. I mean, you'll, you'll, I'm pretty sure you can end up dropping it, but it feels much more secure than many other, many other. Um... Brushes out there. So many products of the den. I haven't had a chance to put them all on camera. You know, even this, um, even this brush, man. There's so many razors that I've still got to go back and, you know, use again because ugh, there's just so many products in the den right now. First pass of the man, let's see how we get on. And this blade, um, guy uh, guy said it's called a um, gym professional. Feels good. Now this is the um, razor um, <coughs> this is the razor that they recommend to ride the cap. I guess that's its uh, that's its angle. It's an actual angle. And uh, so I gotta remember to do that. I think I said I have three days of growth today. I think I did. 
If I didn't, I apologize. I've got three days of growth. Got to line up the goatee again. Since I didn't do any uh, face prep, I was talking about exfoliating that would help me um, hydrate the follicles, hair follicles. But I forgot to do that anyways. <laughs> Another in my scuttle. Feels good. Tell you what, man, it's been so cool. It's been an honor to have gotten to try out so many of these vintage razors over this past, uh, this beginning of the year, I should have said, because I could have sworn it was. Even Grey Dog, I think, sent the razors this year, if I'm not mistaken. I purchased two or three. I think I purchased two of them off of him. Wow, that's smooth. The angle's a bit weird because I'm not used to um, shaving, up, shaving at an angle like that, but it's very, uh, you can feel it, you can get used to it. And remember um, the pimple that I had right here? Don't know if we're going to remove the scalp today, but we'll see. Yeah, so like I was saying, uh, it's been an honor and a treat to use all these vintage versions that were uh, sent to me for uh, uh, as a loan to try out. including blades. You know? Uh, Grey Dog, Jeffrey, and Guy have uh, truly changed the game for me, man. I thank you guys very much.
Beautiful. Just beautiful. <clears throat> and this soap, man, so awesome. Great scent, awesome scent. It is definitely a soap that's hard to get your hands on. The scent is just so great that people aren't putting them up for um for buy seller trade. You'll see them here once in a while. This soap wasn't even, um, this trifecta wasn't even on, on for sale. I would just, I just happened to be at the right place at the right time and ask the right questions. Or I asked the right questions at the right, at right place and right time, I guess you could say. I'm surprised I've gotten this far with this um with this shade with no with no uh, with no prep. I thought for sure this blade was gonna be fighting me the whole way through. Very minimal cleanups. Great blade, brother, great blade.
It was crazy that I can't feel, <laughs> I can't feel those hairs that it's picking up, but uh, it's getting to them. That's crazy. I'm only going over spots where I feel very, very light, noticeable hairs, and then I go over it, and you can hear all that chomping. Nice. All right. Feeling good. Feeling real good. Let me show you what we have in this brush. It's got a lot of water in it. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, guys, I'll be back. All right. Let's get into the animal stick. If we can get it working here, which... I just broke the damn thing because it ran out. Oh, well. Did I break it? I think so. Whatever. The Allen stick tends to um, lock up when it starts to dry. So let's get in with the Allen stick. So I just want to say, I am very impressed with that razor. I had to put it down because it just kept cutting and cutting and cutting. I'm like, dude, I feel nothing there, but I hear it. And I'm like, if I don't put this thing down, I'm going to give myself a razor burn or razor rash. Get myself some next. What's hurting is this damn plastic rubbing up against my skin. I can't pick it up anymore. And I know there's plenty in there, but I think it seized up in there. <laughs> I have another Allen stick, so. <clears throat> this is still three quarters full. So I don't want to throw it away. All right, I mean, rinse off, I'll be back. Fantastic, fantastic shave. Again, I love how these gem razor blades shave me. I mean, there's absolutely no hair there. Ah, oh, what a, what an amazing, amazing scent. Let's get into the after shave splash now. Absolutely gorgeous. All right. <clears throat> Let me see. I don't know if you guys can pick that up. It'd be too small, I think. But that's the uh, label there. Yeah, it's gonna be too small. But there you have it. Time for the aftershave balm. <clears throat> Here we go. Let's do one pump, I think. I don't remember what her bombs are like. Yeah, one pump. Holy moly, I should have done half a pump. That wasn't even nothing. That was a very little bit. Wow.
that was only a little bit. <laughs> Amazing, amazing. All right. Sweet. All right. Let's get in with the recap. And with all your soap works, there's a uh, all your little um, emblem there, and this is a artwork that was done by Chicano Shaver, and that's his little. That's how you know it's him. And uh, there's a soap, nice and rinsed out, and. Uh, Hard to see on this the way the sting in the way, but there is an ingredient list there. All right, <clears throat> got a lot of things sitting here on the side. Sorry, uh, brush of choice was our whip dog bore that. I forgot to rinse out, but <laughs> there you have it. And this is a brush that's brought to you by Grizzly Bay. My little retro nostalgia brush there. <clears throat> Goodness, I feel like I do everything. The uh, razor we went in with was the uh, shovel head that was sent over on loan from uh, Guy Solis. And I think this is the um, Micromatic, I believe, gem style razor. The blade of choice, let me show you. <laughs> Another, check that blade, check that blade out again. Do you see what, what it did? It was completely clean, it looks brand new when I pulled it out. And these blades look like this every single time I use them. And here's the back of it. So that's one, one blade there. I'll put this off to the side on this side. And I got one from the other pack. So there's three blades like this now. So I got that one. And I have this one there. There you have it. So there's three blades <laughs> they're all different blades man look at they're all the same shit that's crazy so um that is that we use the uh trifecta after show you bomb after show you splash and we use the uh dirty bird scuttle to lather in and that is my shave I don't know. I thought it was a scab. But man, awesome, awesome scent. Fantastic shave. That is my shave, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, Marcos, hope you appreciate that, brother. And uh, Chicano Shaver or uh, Rafa or AKA every other fucking name you got out there. <laughs> uh, Chicano Designs, I hope you see this video, brother. And uh, that's an awesome, awesome collaboration y'all did. Uh, really, really happy I have this part of my den. I wanted this for the longest. So I'm so happy that it's here. And before I forget, guys, saw this. Thanks for uh, sending over this razor uh, for me to use and the blade too. It worked out really well. I just wanted to throw that, throw that in there before I forgot. Um, but that is my shave, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you do, please like, favorite, share, and subscribe as always. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Y'all stay safe out there. Later, guys.